I am Draken and this is the Draken Gameworks and today we are going to talk about portable miners in Satisfactory. We're going to look at how to make them, what they do, how to use them and what they get used in for later on. So first of all how to make them you'll need a workbench like this one here or equipment workshop here and they don't need a lot they only need two iron plates and four iron rods to make and they are pretty simple and quick and easy to make and you can see straight off the bat there we are one portable miner not a problem now the portable miner is the first sort of automated system that you might come across but they're not a brilliant automated system in the fact that they can't be plugged up to anything but they do have certain little advantages that they can have but right at the beginning it's better than actually just mining by hand you can just put them down go away and leave them just dig up a little bit of actual ore in the process so the first thing you need to do once you've got your portable miner is find yourself a node you can do it so um, using your scanner just obviously scan it off like you normally would do once you see the node there obviously if it's got any um rocks on the top of it you might need to break those away first before you can use the portable scanner and the uh, portable scanner the portable uh, miner itself and then what you need to do is equip the miner into your hands there so if we put it there and you can see we are now carrying it in our hand and then as we're over it if we just then right uh, left click on it there there we are and you'll see it will now do its little animation as it sets itself up there as you see it pops open drops down its bits there and starts getting itself ready and it should then just start whirling away for us and mining away getting ore for us automatically now the miner can hold a total of 100 ore inside of itself there once it gets to 100 ore it stops that's it it just stops and you can't get any more out of it until you either you can take the ore out so you could actually just click on the ore and just remove it and pull it into your own inventory or you can do grab all which will take all of the ore as well at the same time it does exactly the same thing or you could pick up the miner from here and when you pick up the miner you'll also pick up both the miner and all the ore that is on board as i say it's quite handy in some senses because you can you can put it down just dig up 100 ore and leave it well away where you go off and do other things you can have a couple of miners on different nodes you can only have one miner on each node that's the only problem there but one thing you can do if you're in real desperate need for lots of ore and um, you haven't reached the stage yet where you can actually build um, the the proper fully automated miners yet then one thing you can do is you can put the uh, miner down on the rock uh let's move there we are and then while it's mining away you can also be chipping away at the side here getting extra ore into your thing while that is also mining and though you will actually mine quicker by hand than the automatic miner does the, having the automatic miner go in the background just speeds it up a little bit more and then you can go and pick up both what you've got in your hand there and then you can also grab what's inside of here as well one last thing to note with the miner is that the miner is also used sometimes as a component in constructing other things. So when you get to the things like the miner Mark 1 and also the later versions, the Mark 2s and 3s and 4s and everything else, the miner is actually a component that is used inside of it. So you're still going to be using miners as you go through the system. Uh, you're still going to need to build them for building these sort of automatic mining nodes and everything else. So even once you move on to actually being able to get something that has a conveyor belt, then yes, you're going to need to actually still build these because they actually form one of the components that form part of it. Great thing though with them is that the mining systems don't need power and they don't need any water or they don't need any resources to actually make them work at all. And um, the only problem though is you can't plug them up obviously to um, conveyor belts and stuff like that. Now there is a slight difference in its output. It does say on its description that it only gives a certain amount, but it does actually vary depending on what type of node you put it on, whether it's in a pure node or an impure node, will actually increase or decrease the uh, the amount of ore it digs or the speed in which it digs anyway. Um, but beyond that, that's everything you really need to know about the portable miner. It's a simple device, but it is uh, a very useful device in the game nonetheless. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this has been helpful for you as a tutorial. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out the rest of the things on this channel and all our other channels. And we will see you again soon. Take it easy. Bye.